Hey everybody, Sean here with Revealing Truth, and today we are going to look at the most misused Bible verse to support signs and wonders. I've mentioned this in other videos, but today we'll just do a short version that's easy to share with others that might believe this lie. So let's dive in. Teachers and Word of Faith, the New Apostolic Reformation, and even Torben Sondergaard with the Last Reformation, who isn't really a part of these groups, yet has a movement that is equal to the size of NAR all around the world, all based their Signs and Wonders movement on Mark 16, 17 to 18. And these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons, they will speak in new tongues, they will pick up snakes with their hands, and if they drink any deadly poison it will not harm them. They will lay their hands on the sick and they will be made well. Now this is a great verse, but the problem is that they teach that all Christians can do all these things, but it's not true. All we have to do is contrast that with 1 Corinthians 12, 7 to 11, where Paul says, Now to each one the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. To one there is given through the Spirit a message of wisdom. To another, a message of knowledge by the means of the same Spirit. To another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, gifts of healing by that one Spirit. To another, miraculous powers. To another, prophecy to another distinguishing between spirits, to another speaking in different kinds of tongues, and to still another the interpretation of tongues. All these are the works of one and the same Spirit, and He distributes them to each one just as He determines. So it's very clear that one person may get one gift, another person a different gift, and so on. And of course, God can give multiple gifts to people as He determines as well. Paul continues in verses 28 to 30 saying, And God has placed in the church first of all apostles, second prophets, third teachers, then miracles, then gifts of healing, of helping, of guidance, and of different kinds of tongues. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Do all work miracles? Do all have gifts of healing? Do all speak in tongues? Do all interpret? And if we look at the Greek, the implication Paul is making is no, we don't all operate in all these gifts. I've even heard Torben Sondergaard explain it like this. Do we all have the gift of healing? No. Can all heal? Yes. Do all have the gift of prophecy? No. Can all prophesy? Yes. And so on. But this is just another twisted interpretation to support this false movement. I think scripture is clear that Mark 16 does not teach that all people are gifted with all the gifts. A better way to look at that verse is as a list of different gifts that different believers in the body have. Now, a second question I found no clear answer to is why people think they can learn gifts when there's not one verse that teaches this. There's so many schools teaching people they can, but no scripture to support it. You can search online and see lots of links to learn prophecy, tongues, and even healing. Even in this video, Torben is claiming people he just met on the street are learning how to heal in one hour. This is insane and completely unbiblical, yet he has thousands, tens of thousands of followers all around the world teaching this garbage. The only links I see on YouTube about learning to heal are Reiki and energy healing, which is not from God. The only other verse I've seen people use is 2 Corinthians 12.31 where it says to desire the greater gifts, but I have no idea how someone can misread that to mean that we can learn gifts. The only reason I can come up with for why people believe the lie of learning gifts is 2 Timothy 4.3, for the time will come when men will not tolerate sound doctrine, but with itching ears they will gather around themselves teachers to suit their own desires. People loved to see a show and people followed Jesus everywhere when he was healing and doing miracles, but in John 6 when Jesus started teaching some more difficult things, they walked away. Show's over, no more exciting signs and wonders, so we're out of here. Sounds a lot like what we see today. So if you are watching this and you have believed these teachings, please consider what the Bible says. I'm not a sensationist by any means. I believe the gifts still exist today when understood biblically. And they are given by God, not learned. If you know anyone who believes these teachings, please share this video with them. 
But that's it for today, and remember, if you like this video, like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell and get all future notifications. So until next time, take care, and God bless.